All right, welcome everyone. This will be your first tutorial on how to do some basic things in R. Uh, I'm assuming that you have R Commander open already uh, and have already had that set up on your machine and ready to go. We're going to do some uh, basic uh, numerical summaries and graphs in R Commander. So, of course, the first thing we need to do is get a data set open. So let's do that. So we'll just add a and then load data set. Uh, and in my documents, I already have the CARS 93 data set. Uh, this is one we're going to be using a lot for our tutorial videos, so you'll be getting very comfortable and very used to this data set. Uh, so it's got a list of uh, several cars and features of these cars in it. We can actually view the data set by clicking the View Data Set button. And we can see that there are many variables in this data set. We've got like the manufacturer, model, type, some categorical variables here, uh, some quantitative ones as well. So the minimum price, price, max price. Uh, some miles per gallon variables. Uh, so a lot of stuff to work with here. So that's why we'll be seeing this quite a bit. Uh, the very first thing that we'd like to do is just try making a histogram. Uh, so if we go up here to graphs, and then we can go to histogram, uh, we have many options here for our variables that we can make a histogram of. Uh, let's first just do uh, MPG highway. Uh, we're going to click apply. You can click either OK or apply. I'm going to change up some things about this histogram. So first I'm going to click apply so this window stays open. And we see we have our histogram here. Uh, so of course here when we want to submit uh, histograms for our pre-labs or homework, uh, we want to make sure that we title them appropriately. So let's go to options. And under the graph title, the histogram of MPG kit. And I'm going to go ahead and click apply again, and it adds this title in for me. Uh, there's some other options we can look at here. Uh, we can look at this at both counts, so the number of cars that land in these groups, or the percentages. So let's go ahead and do that one. Now we can see it's changed here to percent on this uh, y axis. Uh, we can also change the number of bins. So uh, how many divisions uh, we want to have within our histograms. So we could try maybe 15. And we see we get some more uh, divisions of uh, bars in our histogram. I'm going to put this back to auto, though. Another thing, um, we can also do histograms by groups. Let's go ahead and look at uh, MPG and maybe plot by groups. This will split our data set into different cases. Uh, one variable that we can look at is the origin. So we can see uh, how miles per gallon compares for cars uh, made within the USA and those made outside the USA. We go ahead and click OK there. Now we can see it says plot by origin. And we can click apply. And then we get two histograms here. Let me change the window up a little bit here. Center. And now we can see there are uh, two histograms here. I guess some of the interesting features we can note are that uh, this one seems to go have like a very large uh, percentage of cars between 25 and 30, while the non-USA cars kind of a flatter distribution compared to the, uh, the USA distribution. Okay, that's all we need to know about the histogram dialog. Let's go ahead and try making some box plots now. Let's go to graphs. Uh, shortly under the uh, histogram option is the box plot option. So we can go ahead and also make a box plot of our highway miles per gallon. And we notice here we have our box plot here, uh, median somewhere between 25 and 30. Uh, a range, if we ignore the outliers, goes from about 20 to 37-ish or so. Uh, we can also uh, change some of the options here. So this, these numbers next to the outliers, uh, these aren't actually the true miles per gallons there. They're just simply uh, the row. So if you were interested to find you know, what um, car this was, you would go to the row 39 if you were interested to figure out what is the, this uh, very high miles per gallon car. If we're not interested in that, we find these numbers just distracting under options. We could select no for identify outliers and remove those numbers. As before, we can give our graph a title. So, uh, this being the box plot. 
plot of MPV by kit. Click apply, and there we go. So very much like the histograms where we could make several cases, we can also make a side-by-side uh, -side box plot here. Uh, let's try a different grouping variable this time. Um, we can talk now about uh, the drivetrain, uh, what the difference is of MPG by drivetrain. Uh, there were three drivetrains here, our all-wheel front and rear. Let's go ahead and apply and see what this looks like. Uh, so here now we have three box plots side-by-side. Um, we can see here now those outliers seem to be coming from that front group. Um, so it looks like the front wheel drive is the type of drivetrain that has the super fuel efficient cars. Uh, rear wheel drive, those tend to be kind of sporty cars, so I guess they have a lower MPG. Uh, whereas four wheel drive is, you know, uh, I guess a fairly wide range, no outliers, just, you know, typical sort of cars there in terms of MPG. That's about all we need to do with box plots. Let's move on to some numerical summaries. Uh, we can get numerical summaries of statistics if we go to statistics summaries and then numerical summaries. And we get a list of data sets once again. So before we've, or so far we've only been looking at uh, MPG highway. Now it'd be interesting to, to look at two variables. Uh, let's, so it says here a variable to pick one or more. Let's pick both MPG city and MPG highway. Uh, note, to select more than one variable, what you'll have to do is hold down the control button. And then, so you can click another one without it deselecting the first one you clicked on. And uh, we can go ahead now and click apply. And instead of being here in this uh, picture output, uh, we notice that it is here uh, uh, in our little output box here. We also note that uh, our commander is telling us what code it is using to get these estimates. Uh, so we see here that it's uh, this num summary, so numerical summary, and it's giving us many different functions here. So mean, standard deviation, IQR, quantiles. Now, if we wanted to run our own code in R, it's uh, not terrible. Like, let's say we wanted the mean. We could just use this mean function. So let's go ahead and go to this R script box. Um, let's get out of this box first. Let's just say we want to get the mean uh, MPG highway. First, we have to do mean of our data set, uh, which we can get the name of here, cars93. And then uh, we use the dollar sign to just select a variable, and the variable we'll be interested here is MPG highway. So, typed it out just like it is here. Uh, while we're selecting this line, we just click submit. In the output box, we get this mean here, 29.08. Of course, this isn't totally necessary as R can give you uh, this mean uh, regardless, but just so you know that uh, this is, uh, there is code going on behind the scenes. You can kind of see what R is doing for you. Uh, some of the other statistics it gives us, we see standard deviation, the interquartile range, as well as our min Q1, uh, median or Q2, uh, Q3, and max as well as the sample size. Uh, finally, one last thing, for submitting your graphs, you may want to be able uh, to, of course, submit a graph that you make for a pre-lab or homework. So what we'll want to do is go back to the main R window and select the uh, image we made. So let's try to save this box plot. What we're going to do is we go to File, uh, making sure that this window uh, is currently being selected. So go to File and then Save As. Um, there's many options to save as. Uh, you can save as a PNG image, a JPEG image, uh, or as a PDF. I believe the pre-labs will specify that you need to save it as a JPEG or a PNG. I'm going to just save it as a PNG. And then give it a name so you can find it later. So MPG uh, histogram. And then go ahead and click Save. And there you save the file of your histogram to submit for your homework. All right, so that gives you uh, some things to get started with R. So uh, you can go ahead and play around with uh, some other data sets or the assignments that you have now for your pre-labs or homework. Have fun.